What's up, what's up, what's up? <laughs> it's Friday and oh my goodness what a Friday it was. Uh, first of all, I'd like to shout out to all the teachers in Pittsburgh Public Schools who did not have air conditioning, who were on remote learning the last couple days. It's about time. <laughs> it's about time. Oh my goodness, my school's air conditioning. And I really, really appreciate that. That is awesome. But, oh my gosh, there's so much I have to fill you in on. First of all, I got new glasses. See the glasses? Yes. I can see clearly now. I got some scripts on. I got a new pair of uh, K-12s. Uh, another pair of K-12s. So that takes the total up to about seven. Uh, the one that was giving me issues the other day, I took it to the shop and it got fixed. It was a real easy fix. But they also did some re-soldering and got everything kind of like a tune-up for a K-12. Yay! All right. Uh, that, does that catch you up? Yeah, it pretty much catch you up. Tonight, uh, my brother's helping brothers are down in West Virginia. They got a weekend gig that um, came up on a schedule. And unfortunately, this time I wasn't able to accommodate because I have a wedding tomorrow. And tonight, I'm going to be doing a band over at the Grove. So, uh, G4 wasn't available for that, but he's available for tomorrow's gig. He's going to be jamming with Random Play out at Seven Springs. And for that, I had to get the Navigator back on the road because he brought it back hurt. When I say hurt, I mean hurt. Grinding rotors. I don't know if you know what rotors are, but grinding rotors. It needed an oil change. It was throwing codes. It, it was just a bad, bad, bad situation. Well, today, as soon as I got home from work, I finished up the brake job, and that was, uh, put a brand new rotor on, put brand new pads on it, took it for a test drive, and it is okay. Changed the oil, life is good. Um, on my way out to the Grove, unfortunately, this is the last time I'll be mixing this band uh, for a while. Um, I decided that it would be easier on me both uh, spiritually trying to stay positive about everything and I had to basically drop the rest of the schedule with them. Uh, that was a schedule that I put together back in like January before I was thinking, oh my God, I'm going to be asked to do a whole bunch of other gigs and I'm going to need some time off, some time off, you know what I mean? But anyway, um, we're gonna go out here. We have a drummer, a guitar player, there's a bass player, there's a keyboard player. There's two background singers and a main singer. Everybody does features. Um, I'm not sure exactly if those people will be the same people in the band because they're, they're uh, hired musicians that come and play the music, um, not necessarily a uh, band of brothers. My way to do this gig and it is a weekend in Pittsburgh where there is a lot of people doing a lot of different things I believe it's uh, the pride parade and all the prides going on as well as uh, there's going to be the arts festival is kicking off this weekend I believe so we're looking at a lot of people being in town and I hope some people show up tonight to see the show because I'm all about the positivity. I, and then the more the merrier, you know what I mean? Uh, we're gonna go to the Grove. I'll take you guys along the way and show you the room again. See you in a bit. Hey, what's going on in the twist of fate? Something happened. Uh, tonight was supposed to be my last night with this band. Well, turns out last time was. I got my boy DJ. What's up? Skooks. Skooks in the house. I call him Rob. I call him Rob. I don't know if you call him Rob or not, Jerry but he's more than capable. He's watched every video of mine and he knows where all the power is and the layout of the band, which has changed by the way. There is two keyboard players, a conga player, a, a substitute drummer, uh, maybe a substitute singer, and did I, who did I miss? Guitar. Guitar. He's a normal guy to guitar. Norm, norm, see, he knows. He, knows. He, he was the last guy. 
he must be the guy, you know what I mean? <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna mess around maybe with a little effects on Rob's XR. He got the XR, the XR, baby. And uh, and then after the first set, I'm gonna peel out because I already told you, tomorrow's gonna be crazy. We got wedding on the farm. I'll see you later. Premier drummer, Mr. Terry Levels right here. He got a new setup. I've never seen anything like this before. Check this out. Um, right now I got the rolling trigger. I got the SPD XS. SPD SX Pro uh, by Roland. So this is the new one. It's really cool. Um, you know, I can do a lot with it. So I'm running triggers through it. So I'm using three Simmons triggers. And I got a rolling uh, trigger on the kit. Kick drum. Uh, it's uh, I forgot what model it is. I can't really see it. No, I need it's all good. It's all good. Okay. Yeah, it's quick trigger. It's really cool. So what I'm doing, I'm using it to trigger like the snare drum. So I got a fat snare drum. And this times are trigger. A nice little sound. And then I can play soft. And play a groove. playing through your ears. Yeah, all of it's coming through my ears too, so I can hear it in my ears. So I have my nice. headphones right here. Uh-huh. And I'm running it through this little mixer. So I'm sending a line out to the board. Then I got my amp right here. So I'm coming out right, going to the board and left into the speakers. Nice. Now are you getting a line from them so that you can hear keyboards or yeah, anything yeah, like that no, also? I'm not hearing keyboards, I'm just hearing hearing my drums because the stage is loud enough. Gotcha, so gotcha. In this situation. So uh, all right. Kind of crazy stuff with this. Now you got triggers up here, yep. down here. Yeah, I got stuff. So it's Different. a sample pad and the triggers are right here. So the okay, sample pad, here. I'm sorry. So gotcha. all the cables and stuff to the trigger line out. This is really cool. I gotta still get into it. And you got a whole bunch of stuff you can add. Yeah. This this is just rolling this bomb. Yeah, it's, a, it's bomb. a beast. Yeah, it's a beast. All right. I, I say it's a good purchase. Good purchase. Yeah, this... Especially if you're playing somewhere and you can't mic your drums and you need to run triggers. I still gotta work with the settings a little bit. Mm -hmm, you, know, you gotta mm -hmm. go in to kind of dial it up. Get that Phil Collins sound yeah, if you yeah. want it. That's what's up. Yeah. So All right. Cool. Are there any presets that are in there? There are pre 43. 43 kits in here. Damn. All right, I've been with my man Terry. I'm going to let him get ready for the game. Right, thanks. Yeah. All right, thank you. Right, appreciate it. I'll see you guys later. You too. <laughs>
last night. Uh, okay. Last night, um, what I thought was going to be my last night mixing with this one band turned out to be not my last night. My last night was the last time I mixed them out in Fox Chapel. So that kind of worked out. Uh, I kind of turned in a resignation text. I never really received a reply. And when I showed up to the gig, um, a friend of mine, good friend, you met him on a video anyway, DJ Scoop, he was out there. He had the show. He said, do you want to just do it and make the money? And I was like, no, that's okay. You got it. He called you. So it's all good. I don't want to waste your time. And this is a good thing. So I sat there and I hung out and I waited. Um, I watched the first set. It was good. Um, kind of as I predicted, there were two totally different background singers. They did features and they were lovely and wonderful. Great singers, by the way. Um, there were two keyboard players that nobody knew were going to be there. And they played off of each other very well, as usual. As usual. I mean, good musicians. There was a replacement drummer who you met. I saw Mr. Terry Levels. He killed it. He was back there just killing it, left, oh my God. Um, but anyway, so later on during the evening, during that first set, the former background singers came to the gig also. Um, I saw uh, Mr. Frank from the franchise band was there and it was kind of cool to see a whole bunch of people that I knew um, all there having fun. Nothing crazy went off, it was weird, but nothing crazy went off that I was aware of because I left after the first set. Anyway, on to today's gig. Today is Wedding at a Fall! 